Sipa. So bringing ourselves into this mat, into the space, spaciousness. Inhale as long as possible and exhale twice as long as possible. Every inhalation, taking all the energy that is needed for us from this ocean, we cannot even comprehend how big this universe is. Trillions and trillions and trillions of light years. And every exhalation we provide to this minute quantum level atom and other particles, the extremes and the balance that we have in between. With that thought, we bring our hands in prayer position in front of our heart, thanking ourselves to be here, setting an intention for the practice for the day. And we begin the session by chanting one Om, inhaling. Bringing the hands to the third eye, the seat of intuition that always guides us between the extremes, the vastness and the minuteness. And we bring the hands to the level of our heart, rubbing our palms to create warmth and keeping it on our closed eyelids for four, three. This asana is always available every hour. When we look at any screen, it's not easy to remember, but we try to and one. Releasing our hands and we begin by rotating our uh, neck by bringing the chin to the chest. Take your time, right, dropping our head back, left, down. We continue four more times in this direction. Massaging, stretching, strengthening, and relaxing. The three things that allows us to bring our body to balance. I read somewhere this week, Samadhi, the eighth stage uh, in Tamil means Samam. Samam, you know, is balance. Samadhi is nothing but being in balance. To be summoned. Once you finish one side, go for balancing it on the other side, bringing a Samam. So whichever act that brings us balance is yoga. That brings us to our samam, brings us samadhi. Once you've finished both sides, you're going to we are going to twist to the right, left, again balancing our right side left side, the masculine and the feminine to bring samam, samam, samam. Beautiful. Bringing the hands uh, head to neutral position, stretching your hands, flick your fingers for seven, six, five, four, three, two and one making a fist with the thumb in rotating our wrist inside to outside and outside to inside it's really hot today <laughs> yeah once you finish both the sides up and down
Inhale and exhale as long and deep as possible, bringing our focus on our bandhas as we work right hand, stretching our right wrist for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fingers down, five, four, three, two, and one, making a fist, stretching our wrist, stretching the forearm actually, the outside of our forearm, four, three, two, and one. And we go for the other side, five, four, three, two, and one, finger down, five, four, three, two, and one, making a fist, stretching our wrist, six, five, four, three, two, and one, releasing ourselves, relaxing our shoulders, front to back, back to front, and going into all four. Shoulders on top of your wrist, hip on top of your knee, toes tucked in, tucked out, it doesn't matter. Inhaling cat, exhaling camel. Inhale cat, exhale camel. Inhale mula bandha, remember. Exhale, inhale cat, exhale, inhale, and exhale, keeping the right knee, if you need to move it to the bit center, right leg goes out, heel on top of your toes, and then we are going to stretch our Achilles tendon for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the shoulders on top of your wrist, lifting your right leg off the floor, rotating your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, pointing your toes, flexing your toes by pressing the heel away from your body, point, flex, Point, flex, point, flex. You know, if you have a, you are going to lift the opposite hand away from our self, working on our core for five, four, three, two, and one. We go dynamic, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, hand comes down, now we are going to bend our right leg, making, and we are going to make it open to the side, we are going to rotate our hips clockwise five times, Counterclockwise. Beautiful. Opening the leg to the level of your hip or in the direction, those pointing away from us. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the toes in line with your knee, gently walking ourselves up. Pinky toe touching the mat, engaging the leg. We are going to slide our hand, opening our obliques for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now they are going to drop the hands, finger facing away. Pink, put the pinky toe in the mat, all three limbs in line. First, we are going to go for extended side angle to open our obliques. 
four, three, two, and one. Shift the weight onto your front two limbs and lift the leg. If you don't have any space like me, bend your arm. Otherwise, try to keep the leg to the level of our waist. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the hands down. Walk your leg, hands forward. Send the leg up, keeping the leg up. We are going to go for a few rounds of push up. Again, eye of the elbow facing forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Beautiful. Two, three, and four. Open the left leg to the side. Bring the right leg in back of our knee. Open your legs to the side. Try to sit down into Komukasana. Whatever leg is down, up, that hand comes down. Other hand goes from the up. Uh, first, go. We can we can do we can do um, um, Garudasana hands also. Every inhalation creating space, and every exhalation enjoying the spaciousness created inside for four, three, two, and one gently unwinding yourself only at the hand level bringing the hands into garudasana and shift again actual extension of your spine and falling forward without bending at our waist level or lifting the glutes for four three two and one Inhale gently, coming up, unwinding ourselves. We are going to adjust our leg to go for Artha Padmasana twist. So, feel whatever leg is bent, that hand goes back, other hand comes and hugs or presses your knee away from us to go for Artha Machendrasana twist. We are both sitting bones or on the mat or in the direction. Four. Three, two, and one. Send the vision first, releasing the hands gently, unwinding ourselves. Inhale, cat, camel, cat, camel for the left side. Left leg goes out, heel on top of your toes first. Stretching the leg for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulder goes on top of your wrist, lifting the left leg, rotating your ankle clockwise. Yeah, you know what is going to happen. So counterclockwise. Pointing the toes, flexing the toes, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and with the flexed toes, releasing the opposite hand to stay in balance. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hand comes down. Now we are going to bend our leg. The opening to the side to rotate our hips clockwise. Counterclockwise. And then stretching the leg out. Four. 
Y man varias bandas. Three, two, and one. Drop the leg in line with your knees. There are gaps on your toes, pinky toe or on the mat. Coming out and going to stretch our obliques for five, four, three, two, and one. Come to center, drop your hands, extend your side body for extended side angle. That is to open your obliques. And then we are going to gently shift the weight, lift the leg off the floor for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the leg, bringing the hands forward, eye of the elbow facing away, and we go for push up on the other side. Remember your Mula Banda. Beautiful. And then you are going to drop the hips. Now we are going to open the knee gently to the width of your mat. Um, as much width as possible. Drop the hips back into child pose. Forehead to the mat. Walking your shoulders gently. Releasing your shoulders, releasing your back. Beautiful. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Now we are going to send the left leg to the back. Open the right leg. Left knee goes to the back of our hips. Come to a sitting position for Gomukhasana leg. Whatever knee is up, that hand comes down. Other hand goes up. For into Gomukhasana hand. Every inhalation, every vertebra of your spine is in extension as if somebody is pulling your head lifting and then back bend three two and one gently unwinding ourselves going for eagle hand seven Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping the again axe selections of your every vertebra and falling forward to protect any pinching of your lumbar spine. Five, four, three. Two and one. Gently coming out, unwinding ourselves. The leg that is on the top goes on the floor for Artha Machendrasana of spinal twist on this side. Five, four, three. Two and one. Beautiful. Gently unwinding ourselves. Hand goes forward, unwinding the legs into all four. Release any strain in our in our back. Cat camel. Tucking the back toe, lifting the knee up, downward facing dog. First downward dog of the practice. Walk your dog. Beautiful. Inhale, head up, jump, walk, fly. Open the legs gently to the width of your hips. Exhale, flex forward. Grab your big toes or hands come under the feet. You can reverse the direction of your hand. Instead of uh, uh, bring the wide part of our palm under 
your feet if that is possible to get a very nice stretch of our forearm again weight on your toes lifting your kneecap dropping the head Inhale, halfway head up. Exhale, closing the leg, both big toes touching each other to begin with. And then bring the right hand to the back so that both pinky toes touch each other. So that one leg goes gently back. And then we are going to go for a twist to stretch our hamstring and lumbar spine. Four, three, Two and one, go to the other side. One side may be more, you feel more stretched than the other side because of the length that will get compensated when we move the leg to the other side, come to center, right leg goes to its original position and left leg, both pinky toe trying to touch each other and go for twist at your waist level. Lift your kneecap, Mula Bandha. Going to the other side if you're not done. Beautiful. Unwinding your leg, micro bend your knees, gently ragdoll ourselves to come to a standing position for classical sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. Toes touching, heels touching. Going to the head of the mat. Inhale, arms up, Mula Bandha, arch back. Exhale, flex forward. Inhale, right leg goes back. Opening your psoas for five, four, three, Two and one, tuck your back toe, lift your knee up, other leg goes back into a plank, adjust your plank, we are going to stay in the plank for 30 seconds. Breathe. Remember holding everything tight at our glute level, at our navel level, shoulders, the alignments, the breathing, Beautiful, knee, chest, chin. Sliding into a cobra, we stay in cobra and we lift our arm off the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Plant the palms, lifting our hips up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg goes between your hands, dropping your left knee, opening your psoas. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck your back toe, lift your knee up, sending the other leg forward, drop your head. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back. So holding there for five. Feel your psoas, the entire quads getting stretched. Three, two, and one. Plank pose, Dandasana. Correct your shoulders, correct your hips. We stay there for 40 seconds. Remember your protracted shoulder. Feel your alignment. Breathe, bandhas. The same thing keep, we keep hearing and hearing so that it becomes part of our practice. The mula bandha can also be there when you are riding a bicycle and we are carrying extra weights.
beautiful niches chin cobra this time you are going to extend the arms up and try to lift the upper body as high as possible four straightening strengthening your lower back three two and one arm comes down leg goes up downward facing dog inhale left leg forward opening your right psoas staying there for five four three two and one other leg forward inhale arms up arch back exhale samasthidihi inhale arms up arch back exhale flex forward inhale right hold plank exhale knee chest chin inhale cobra exhale downward inhale right forward exhale other leg inhale arms up arch back exhale inhale arms up arch back exhale inhale left beautiful hold plank exhale inhale cobra exhale downward inhale left exhale other leg inhale arms up exhale eight more inhale arms up exhale inhale right hold exhale inhale exhale inhale right exhale inhale exhale inhale mula bandha exhale left hold exhale inhale exhale left right inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale right hold exhale inhale exhale inhale right exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale left hold exhale inhale exhale left right inhale exhale inhale arms up exhale inhale right hold exhale inhale exhale right left inhale exhale inhale exhale left hold exhale inhale exhale inhale left exhale inhale arms up exhale inhale arms up mula bandha and staying in arch back again actual extension and creating this beautiful back as if you are in bhujangasana in the air exhale flex forward you are going to send the right leg but right leg go straight for pyramid pose and send your right leg as much as possible sending going into pyramid pose straightening both the legs ensure that there are gaps in your toes exhale staying there for five remember your bandhas bandhas is creating tension at one end of the muscle four 
four, three, two, and one. Inhale, halfway head up. You are going to keep the right hand down and lift the left hand into the space for twisted triangle pose. And we stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Send the vision down, plant your palms to both sides of your front leg, shift weight and shift the right leg off the floor. And we stay there for 30 seconds. Yang hold. You can release the hands if that is in your practice. I don't think I can do it today. Beautiful. 20 more seconds to go. To strengthen our leg, the best way is cantilever. Remember your bandhas. Feel the tension from your glutes. Your hamstring is holding the weight of your leg. 10 more seconds. Now bend your front leg as much as possible to drop your back leg into the mat, plant your palms, other leg back into a plank. Now we are going to move our right hand to the center and go for side plank on one side and we stay here for 30 seconds. Breathe into your body. Very good, Kana. Beautiful. Ten more seconds. Drop your hands. Adjust your leg. Adjust your hands to go for the other side. Alignment, alignment, alignment. Bandhas, bandhas, bandhas. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Beautiful. Hand comes down. Knee, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. And we go for as high as possible. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward, drop your left knee, opening your left psoas. Exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, samasthidihi, beautiful left side. Inhale, arms up, lifting our chest up, staying in arched back position for four. It's a very nice way to strengthen our lower back. Exhale, flex forward, planting the palms. You're going to send the left leg back into a pyramid pose. Breathe. Breathe. Beautiful. From here, we are going to go for a twist, keeping the left hand down and right hand goes into the air. Breathe, Mula Bandha. Feel the IT band, outer hip getting stretched. Three, two, and one. Send the vision down, planting your palms. Shifting the weight, shifting the left leg, toes pointing down, allows us to keep the hips squared. And we stay there for yang hold of 30 seconds.
Beautiful. Bend the front leg. Drop your back leg. Plant your palms. Knee, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, arms up. Arch back. Exhale, Samastivi. Open the leg to the width of your hips. Pushing the hips forward, back. Sorry. Into Gajavadibu, elephant pose. And we stay there for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Planting the palms down, dropping the hips down into Malasana, Indian squat. For four, three, lifting our spine as high as possible. Three, two, and one. We are going to shift the weight towards the left leg and we slide our right leg out to open our into Skandhasana, back straight, toes up, engaging leg. Sorry, breathe. Breathe. Beautiful. With using hand, without using the hand, we are going to go for the other side or we can bring this leg in, shift the leg, and we go for the other side. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and one. Again, we can also bring the leg in, interlocking our fingers, rotating your wrist from our strong hand to our weak hand. We can do a strong hand, make a wave from our strong hand to our weak hand, and we can do a strong hand. And then we prepare ourselves for Kakasana. Our own version of Kakasana. And again, like a yang hold, we try for 15 seconds, go for a 15 count on your own self. Beautiful. I don't, don't come down because I said beautiful. Good job. Very good. Very nice. And from here, we're going to drop our hips down. Open the leg out. Moving our muscles around. Inhale. Um, bend your right leg into the inner crease of the twisting to the side where the leg is open. And exhale, flex forward. Feeling the stretch on your leg, hamstring, each and every vertebra of your spine. You don't want your chin to come down your knee. Again, we will hold this for 30 more seconds to make it, let's say, 40 seconds or 45 seconds. Gently entering into the in yoga joy of opening our fascias especially in the morning. Inhale gently, halfway head up. Exhale, coming out. This leg comes in, other leg goes out. Janushira Sasana, head to knee pose on the other side for a minute on this side, enjoying the yin yoga aspects. Your muscle, muscle opens into your fascia.
Remember the intention of your practice. Beautiful. Inhale, half way head up. Exhale, full way head up. Now we have to prepare ourselves to go for Atama Chindrasana twist. On this side, in here, you are going to go for one minute of Kapalabhati breathing and you are going to exhale and hold on this side. So go for Atama Chendrasana twist. No, on the twist. Beautiful. Whatever leg is bent, that hand goes back, the other hand goes up. Now we are in the twist and we are going to go for a Kapalabhati for a minute now. Remember your Mula Bandha. With control, exhale, hold in your breath. Now apply your Uddhyana Bandha and enter that extra twist. Keep holding your breath. And if you wanted to come out, Come out with an inhalation anytime. Very good. Inhale, coming out. And we go for Arthamachendra twist on the other side, Kapalabhati. I feel that this holding the breath in Arthamachendra asana allows us to enjoy that twist a bit more. We go for a minute of Kapalabhati from now. Exhale, holding your breath. Now bring your internal organs in, navel as close as possible to your spine and enjoying the spaciousness and going with the twist deeper. If and when you have to come out, inhale, gently unwinding ourselves. Beautiful. Coming out into all four. Inhale, cat. Exhale, camel. <laughs> inhale, cat. Exhale, camel. Tuck your back toe. Lift your knee up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left leg forward, drop your knees, opening your psoas. Exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, Samasthidhi. Sun salutation A, five times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Inhale. Jump. Inhale, Urdhva Muga. Exhale, Adho Muga. Looking between our thumbs, jump, walk, fly. Exhale. Inhale, 
Excel. Inhale. Excel. Inhale. Are, are the halfway head up. Excel. Jump. Inhale. Urdhva. Excel. Inhale. Jump. Excel. Inhale. Arms up. Excel. Samasthi Vihi. Inhale. Excel. Inhale. Jump. Inhale. Excel. Jump. Walk. Fly. Excel. Inhale. Excel. Inhale. Excel. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Jump. Inhale. Urdhva Mugha. Exhale. Looking between our thumbs. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Jump. Walk. Fly. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Jump. Very good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Halfway. Head up. Now we are going to plant the palms. And we wanted to jump very slowly. So we are going to shift the palms and as if we are on the toes to come out and walk back. This is a very nice way to fly. This is what I've been learning last week. So here we are. No, say it again. I think I didn't understand. Can you see? I can see. Uh, I didn't see properly. No. Uh, coming back is a bit difficult. Coming, going forward. No, from the from the beginning, from the. So, the ah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Then, ah, okay. Very minutely, our leg will come off, and we wanted to use that to push ourselves. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. and then same way we come, uh, uh, jump uh, in the front. Yeah. Coming back. This is coming back, and we are going to come forward also. Ah, come forward. Yeah. Forward also. Like three to four times coming back. And then coming back, coming forward is easier. Go and then you jump. Yes. We want to keep the leg as straight as possible as if it feels like you are almost lifting. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Now shift your weight, shoulders goes. Shoulder goes just in front of your wrist. So that you are ah, lift. Yes, beautiful. Very good. Very good. Inhale, halfway head up. Cell jump or walk. So if you are going to do this, why is this? So that you can lift yourself and you have this time to jump back. Not now, maybe at some point but I got a very nice video to work on it. And they, this is what they're bending in here, upward. Exhale, downward, looking between our thumbs. Again, when we fall, go forward, we wanted to fly. So we are like. Yes, much better. Exhale, inhale, arms up. Exhale. Beautiful. Your shoulder is just off. So you have control. So this is how they have been practicing in that video, actually. Super. Now from here, we wanted to go for some balancing pose. Toes. Open the leg into a V. And we go for Natarajasana, the dancing Shiva. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming out, going for the dancing Shiva on the other side. Beautiful. 
coming out. This time you are going to go for the eagle arm and the eagle pose. Unwinding ourselves and the other side. Beautiful. And we go for bending the right leg, grabbing your right ankle, opening your hamstring first. You're going to grab the right angle, but from the inside so that you are opening your shoulders also. And we are trying to lift the leg as high as possible. Your toes are away from you so that you are pulling your chest, your biceps. Beautiful. Take your time to come out. And we are going to go for the other side. First, the hamstring. Ankle from the inside. And then Have a fixed gazing point. Don't look at the camera or look at the camera. Beautiful. Unwinding ourselves, coming to the head of the mat. Do sun salutation B. Drop your knees. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, halfway, jump, walk, fly. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Right leg goes up, three leg dog. Staying there for four, three, two, and one. Warrior one. Four, three, two, and one. Sending the upper body to the side of your thigh. Four, three, two, and one. Hand comes down, back leg goes on our toes. Vinyasa of our own choice. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Left leg up for five, four, three, two, and one. Virabhadrasana, one. Breathe into your body. So we are stretching, we are strengthening with asanas and relaxing them. Counter cantilever always helps us to strengthen the minute body parts. Breathe, breathe, hand comes down, leg goes back, vinyasa, inhale, urdhva mukha, exhale, adho mukha. Again, we wanted to see if we can fly, looking between the thumbs. Yes, much better. Exhale, head down. Drop your hips. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, samasthidihi. Last sun salutation B. Exhale. Inhale. See if you can. Or jump slowly. See, what we want is that our toes, our heel comes up. We are planting forward with our... Yes, beautiful. Vinyasa. 
downward. This time, open the leg to the width of your mat. Three leg dog, but walk your right hand towards your left ankle. Three leg dog, this time without a hand. Staying there for five, four, three, two, and one. Slide your hand back. Slide your left hand towards your right ankle. And looking under your armpit. Beautiful. Slide your hand forward, looking between your... Now, if you wanted to bring the toes together to lift our right leg up, warrior one. Beautiful. From warrior one, we wanted to bring the upper body down and shift the weight into warrior three. Again, one last way to strengthen our legs. Maybe we will go for 30 seconds. Bend your front leg, hand comes down, leg goes back, vinyasa of our own choice. Exhale, head down. Now you are going to go for two legs, two, two leg dog, open your leg gently. First lift the right leg off the floor. And then we wanted to slide our left hand towards our left ankle. Two leg dog. Remember your bandhas, breathe into your body. Sliding the hand forward, leg goes forward, warrior one. I think I've done an extra warrior, but it doesn't matter. Beautiful vinyasa. Inhale up, exhale down. Left leg goes up. Swing your leg between your hands, warrior one. From warrior one, we wanted to go into warrior three. Beautiful. Bend your front leg. Vinyasa of our own choice. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we wanted to lift our left leg off the floor and walk our right hand to our right ankle. Beautiful hand comes down, vinyasa of our own choice. Inhale up, exhale down, looking between our thumbs, jump, walk, fly, exhale, utkatasana, chair pose, exhale, samastidhi, going into tadasana. Gently closing your eyes, the summum, the balance, right to left, mind to body, outside, inside, 
masculine, feminine. And from here, you want to open your eyes, bring the hands in front, go on to your toes, gently come down to a lying down position. No, we don't go to lie down, lying down because normally you do shoulder headstand. So we go for headstand preparation. Inhale, cat. Exhale, camel. Inhale. Exhale. If you like to go into headstand, go into headstand or dolphin push up. Let's say five to seven dolphin push up. our own versions of it. Headstand. Beautiful. Remember your Mupandas, opening your heart, stack your latissimus dorsi on top of your shoulders. Very good. Much better. Child pose. Go for shoulder stand. All these practices that we normally there in our practice, Halasana, Akshayasana, Viparit, um, yeah.
if and when you feel done, go for figure four stretch, twist, Ananda Balasana and Shavasana. Relaxing your body, relaxing your mind, balancing the bodies, bringing the body and mind into a summer. Bringing movement back to yourself, feeling your toes, moving your fingers, rotating your head towards the right, left. together, interlocking your fingers, giving yourself a very nice stretch, and come out of the pose in your own way, coming to a sitting position of our choice. Feeling this joy. Stretching, the strengthening, and the relaxation that balances us for a now beautiful day. Bring the infinite mind into the finite body.
of God, bringing your hands in prayer position in front of our heart. Thanking our own self and each and every person in our life. We complete the session by chanting one form in heaven. Shanti, Shanti. 